Hello, welcome to Level Change. My name is Claudio Fonseca. I'm a real 777 pilot and today we are going to talk about the pre-flight checklist. This is the first normal checklist that we are going to perform on this uh, virtual ground course. So I'm going to explain a, com a couple of functions about uh, the checklist, uh, the electronic checklist on the 777. So as I told you on the previous uh, videos, uh, once uh, captain and first officer both finish the pre-flight procedure for their respective side, captain is going to call uh, for the pre-flight checklist itself. So basically what we have in sequence is something like this. So the captain that is seated on the left side is going to call pre-flight checklist. Then the first officer that is seated on the right side will make sure that the lower center is selected on the display select panel and is going to press checklist. When he presses checklist, the checklist is going to appear on the lower center. Have in mind that every time that you press the checklist button, the checklist page is going to open on the next non-normal checklist if there is a non-normal checklist pending or the next normal checklist in a sequence okay so basically first thing that i want you to know that uh, the normal sequence for the checklist is pre-flight checklist before start checklist before taxi checklist before takeoff checklist after takeoff checklist descent checklist approach checklist landing checklist shutdown checklist and secure checklist okay for the videos about checklists i'm not going to bring you any document created by myself because all the checklists displayed here on these videos uh, that are brought to you by pmdg they are the real and most updated normal checklist up to the 5th of august the day that i'm creating uh this first video about checklist which is the pre-flight checklist okay so as that is known there is non no normal checklist at this stage when you press the checklist button is going to show you the pre-flight checklist okay so we notice that the first officer verify that the checklist is coming to this lower center screen and then he press the checklist function okay the next step for the first officer is to read the title and in this case pre-flight checklist and after reading the title to make sure that is the same checklist that the captain requested the first officer is going to read the first line that is in white okay in this case the white the first one that is not completed is the first line so the first officer is going to read oxygen okay it's like a question asking the captain to talk about the oxygen itself then at this stage the captain is going to look to his oxygen mask and is going to state tested a hundred percent which means the captain tested and the selection is also at a hundred percent the next step is the fo doing the same thing he's going to check his oxygen mask and make sure that he replies as tested and a hundred percent okay the next step for the fo is to make sure that the answer by the captain and the answer by himself is in agreement with the checklist itself so it says here tested a hundred percent when he makes sure that that line is complete that that procedure is done he's going to click on that line on the box to mark it is as completed and then the checklist itself will turn that line green first thing that you have to know is that every time you have a box you can click and you can mark and unmark that line okay in this case when you unmark it turns back to white telling you that you still have to complete that line okay so 
in this case this was completed the next step is still the fo is going to read the question for the second one or for the next item that is still pending in this case flight instruments then the captain is going to look to his instruments and is going to reply heading 096 altimeter 1023 next step as the first officer also had flight instruments to check during the pre-flight procedure he's going to state heading 096 altimeter 1023 then he looks back to the pre-flight checklist itself he makes sure that they reply what is asked on the checklist like the heading with the current heading and the altimeter with the current altimeter and he's going to tick that box marking that line as completed as well as the other lines they are already green the first officer do not have to say anything okay and then he checks that at the bottom there is another button saying checklist complete at this stage the first officer is going to complete the checklist by saying the title again and the phrase at the bottom in this case pre-flight checklist complete and just to finish the FO is going to come here again and click on the checklist to remove the checklist from the view we do this because then the next time we press the checklist button the checklist is going to show the next no normal or the next normal checklist available for you in this case before the start checklist okay so it's very important for the first officer uh, to start the checklist pressing the button making sure that he has the correct checklist then read the items both pilots they reply on their area of responsibility in this case uh, both pilots had oxygen and flight instruments to check and once the checklist is complete it's very important that the first officer in this case that is reading the checklist states the name again the title of the checklist checklist complete so the other pilot knows that the checklist is complete and this completes the checklist in this case pre-flight checklist okay so this is the sequence a couple of things i want to show you now still related to the checklist itself okay so this is not only about the pre-flight checklist but it is about all the checklist okay so let's go back to the checklist page here and I'm going to go back to the normal checklist sorry normal menu and pre-flight checklist okay uh, I want you to notice something let's assume that uh, by mistake the captain did not set the parking brake okay so let me release the parking brake here okay so parking brake is released at this time and then the captain asks for the checklist and the first officer starts the checklist itself by saying pre-flight checklist oxygen captains check and reply tested 100 percent first officer checks and reply tested 100 percent then the next step is flight instruments captain replies heading 096 centimeter 1023 first officer as well heading 096 altimeter 1023 and mark that line note that the next one is still pending so the first officer has to query the captain about this one has to read this part of the checklist because it is still white so first officer is going to say parking brake as parking brake is responsibility of the captain the captain is going to make sure that the parking brake is set and is going to reply set okay so then we have a couple of things here let's say that the parking brake itself was not set like uh, we just mentioned so the captain is going to make sure he sets the parking brake he has the parking brake set message shown there and he's going to reply because in this case he replies while he is setting the parking brake with the message parking brake set okay so the captain is going to read the message 
parking brake set because he just read the message parking brake set and now the airplane realizes that the parking brake is set the checklist complete phrase is at the bottom and then the AFO just have to come and say pre-flight checklist complete okay so this is uh, one case okay let's assume now that the parking brake is set you have the parking brake message there but you do not have the parking brake marked okay so let's go again to the pre-flight uh, so you complete the oxygen and flight instruments and then captain make sure that parking brake is set even the parking brake set message is uh, shown on the ACAS display but the airplane is not recognizing that the parking brake is set but you are sure the parking brake is set because the message is there is something related to your system and you try to complete this line and you cannot complete this line because there is no box for you to tick note on the first two items you have two gray boxes that you can click on the last two items for this checklist you do not have that box so you cannot click okay first of all when you have boxes it means that these are non-sensed items which means the pilots they will have to tick or untick the boxes as they complete the checklist itself okay for the ones that you do not have the gray area these are considered sensed items which means the airplane is capable of sensing uh, the position for the the checklist itself in this case for the parking brake but sometimes you can have an issue or sometimes uh, not only on this checklist but on a later checklist you may not want to complete that uh, section because there is a failure on the airplane or something like that so how you complete this uh, checklist itself when a situation like this arises where you are not going to complete or the sensed item is already complete but the airplane is not correct sensing that item so you have the option here to select item override okay once you select item override that line is going to show in blue in cyan okay so that means that specific item was override by the crew so the airplane takes no responsibility about it okay but it allows you uh, to skip that item okay and then because you have three items complete and one item overrided you still have the checklist completed and then the fo in this case is going to call pre-flight checklist complete okay have in mind that if you are doing this pre-flight procedure and then sorry pre-flight checklist fo calls pre-flight checklist oxygen captain says tested 100 percent first officer says tested 100 percent tick the first item then first officer calls flight instruments the captain says heading 096 altimeter 1023 first officer also states heading 096 altimeter 1023 then the next step is going to be parking brake then in this case let's assume that the captain uh, said parking brake set reading the ACAS, the ICAS message and then he says like this set item override then the FO comes here press item override and then pre-flight checklist complete and closes the checklist okay so this is the proper way to override an item and to complete the checklist okay so whoever is in charge is responsible for that item is going to state the correct indication in this case parking brake set and is going to ask for item override okay have in mind also that there is a difference between item override and checklist override okay uh, for the item override you are overriding each item okay and this also includes uh, any item that can be on uh, 
nonsense as well so let's do a checklist reset so the first item is oxygen okay so you can also override oxygen let's say that you had a problem with your oxygen system and you are going to make a short flight between uh, two airports at low altitude because at the new airport you are going to refill your oxygen so you do not need oxygen for this flight so in that case uh, the pilots are going to override the item okay so you can still override items that are nonsense as well okay so in this case uh, we override the oxygen okay and then you are going to complete the flight instruments and let's say that the parking brake also has a problem you can override that item as well once you have all the items completed or overrided you will have the message checklist complete okay uh, let's assume that you did your uh, pre-flight checklist okay but uh, once you are in flight or during your uh, engine start procedure uh, there is something wrong with the checklist and you need to reset all the non normal again okay then once you go to the normal checklist it's going to show the pre-flight checklist but you already completed the pre-flight checklist before and now you want to go to the before start checklist itself so instead of overriding each item you have a button to override the checklist completely okay so you press checklist override and it says checklist overridden and then the next time you open a checklist is going to show you the next before the start checklist okay so actually uh, the action for the checklist override is for you to sequence to the next checklist itself because one more time every time that you open a checklist is going to open the next one in sequence okay so let's say one more time you reset normal okay then you reset it the pre-flight is already complete now we are talking about the before start and then you want to go to the before start you press checklist and it opens on the pre-flight because you reset it and this is not completed by the system because you just reset it so but you are sure you already complete you come here checklist override which is going to turn your next active checklist as the before start so you can close open again and then it opens at the correct one okay so this is a couple of things about the checklist resets itself uh, the normal menu sequence okay and how you handle uh, the checklist about clicking the items that you completed overriding the items that you do not want to complete until you have uh, the checklist uh, complete okay and anytime you are doing a checklist like we were doing and you want to start over you have the button checklist reset and then you restart over okay so i turned it off the parking brake just to show you uh the indications itself and how to override the items so in this case i'm going to set parking brake again i want to make sure that the parking brake message is set and then the pre-flight checklist is complete okay so I'm going to uh, close the checklist so the next checklist will be available uh, for us uh, that is the before start checklist that we are going to perform after the before start procedure okay so I hope uh, you like this video if you like if you learned something give us the thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and I see you next time uh, with the continuation of this virtual ground course on the Boeing 777. See you guys. Bye-bye.